This uh, this has to be probably the biggest, or m at least most expensivest, most ex expensivest. I don't know if that's a word, but uh, probably the most expensive opening we've done on this channel. We're going as far back as revised. That's nuts. We got Saga in here. We got Urza's Legacy. We got we. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff. Here's Dark Steel. Um, the list goes on. Lorwyn, Morning Tide. Etc. Etc. All collector packs mostly up here. Are you guys ready? Let's just do this. Uh, very huge thanks to Dave Solari for uh, making this possible. Dave, good luck. I'm cracking these for him. So, oh boy, Dave's a very gutsy gentleman. Here we go. Okay. Whew. Starting off with Caldime. 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 Okay. Enough of that silliness. Let's do this, baby. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, wait, do I have the right setting on? Oh, I'll have to check after this. I might have my low quality on, so whoopsie doodle. Great Hall of Starnheim. That's cool. Okay. Ooh, Fiari's Retribution. You have to pause it right after this. Dragonkin. Jorn. Okay. Cooking a little bit of Heaven's Bakery up in here, are we? Got a Cardu Scorm. What? What? Doom Scourge. Oh, Egon. God of Death. Cool card right there. Very nice. Herald King of Skemfort. And oh, Elrond's Epiphany. Foil Extended Art. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Thank you, Stone Cold. Wow. Elrond's Epiphany. Yeah, baby. Uh, big hit there. Big hit there. That is amazing. Wow. That was really cool. Okay, we're just gonna put these all together. Well, we will have an unc we will have a common uncommon pile, I guess. Uh, lands can go up here. There we go. Just a little minor sorting here, guys. All right, let's check this out. Holy crap! That goes in the cool guy pile for sure. All right. Luckily, the yeah, setting was on. Okay. Core twenty twenty one collector pack. Uh, I added up all the value in this, and uh, it was hot spaghetti. Um, Two hundred. I'm, I'm sorry. One of the packs is over two hundred bucks. Two of the packs are over 200 bucks. Almost three now. Um, it was a total value uh, was 1700 after I factored in all the packs. So I just put 2000 bucks, rounded it up. Um, very close near to it, though, guys. This is insanity right here, what we're cracking. All right, see the truth. Bada bang. Necromania. Oh, I swear, we have a relationship, Asusa and I. Uh, I have been pulling her so often lately, and it's always in foil. She only likes me in foil. That's it. That's, that's how I like her, too. So there you go. Very, very nice. Uh, Asusa, beautiful card. That, co that goes in the cool pile. We have two cool piles now. Or two cards in the cool pile. Liliana, wa uh, Waker of the Dead. Dave's doing nice here. Uh, Teferi's Tutin. Teferi's Ageless Insight uh, foil. Um, that's cool. With the alternate sketch art or whatever they call that. Showcase art. Very, very nice. Uh, double Masters. You guys are ready to get blasted? Double freaking masters. Get blasted twice. Yeah. Okay. This is almost 20 bucks a pack, like 19 something. Brainstorm. So many amazing cards you could pull out of here. But these are not the packs that smell delicious. We're going to get to those in a minute. Oh, come on. Be a big hit for Dave. Sword of the Meek. That's Dece, right? It's not, uh, it's not too bad. Sword of the Meek. Pretty cool. And there you go. Doomed Necromancer. And for our foil, what's it going to be? Doomed Necro. Brainstorm foil, cool foil right there. A little minor bell, all right. And greater good, off the rails, man. <coughs> nice, rare foil, greater good. So every pack so far has been a, a shooting star, um, without a freaking doubt. That greater good deserves up their territory. Wow, every pack so far has been pretty fire. There, there has been no exceptions. There are no exceptions to the rule. Something, something, play the fool. Akoria. Are you ready? Oop, wrong way. Sorry. Whoopsie doodle. Got the beast token. All right. Uh, Churner, watching butter. Thanks. All right, let's pull something again, Juicy. If we just stick at this rate of consistency, we'll pull every freaking monstrous pull we can get out of one of these packs. Oh, my God. We're already on fire, though. Uh, Netherborn Altar. That's pretty cool. Fun card, for sure. Colossification. We got extended art foil something, baby. 
Oh yeah, classification. Song of creation. Rhymes with classification. There you go. Dreaming of Californication. Okay. Song of creation foil. Not bad. Um, I think we could put that in the cool pops because it's extended art foil rare, but I don't think it's that great. Oh, Savage Triome. Welcome. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to my Choco Factory. Wow. The Triome. Beautiful. Baby Godzilla running away with the Migratory Greathorn. Very, very nice pulls. Um, still batting 100, which is nutty. I mean, we're hitting, we're, we're basically getting our value back on every single pack here. Zendikar. Let's dive into Zendikar. Rising Foil Land. Can we hit an Expo is the question. Very neat cards in this set. This is the set with all the Expedition Lands. Um, it's like, I think, one in five packs, roughly, in collectors. Maybe one in six. I think, eh, one in six is probably the average uh, for a uh, foil here. in a, or a, For a foil expedition, yeah. Mountain. Mountain. Okay. Yarsharn. Not doing it for me. Nissa of Shadow Bows foil. That's pretty to look at. Very, very classy. She's a, she's a, a girl you'd want to take home to mommy. Nissa is beautiful. Brushfire, Fearless Pledging, Phylath, followed by, come on, a Sky Clave Squid. That's Squidward, by the way. That's great. Kurgan Intimidator. All right, this pack was a little, this was our weakest link so far. Uh, and to pull a foil mythic, to say that's the least, uh, the weakest link says a lot right now. Okay. Commander Legends, you guys, if you watched the last video, you want to see me flip out, man, we open a, um, a Commander Legends pack and pull a freaking Jeweled Lotus. It was it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But not only a Jeweled Lotus, but an extended art Jeweled Lotus. It was absolutely freaking gorgeous. Just short of something disgusting, like a foil Jeweled Lotus extended art card. That would just be the sickest pool they've ever put impacts in the la in like the most recent history it's pretty nuts all right rapture rupture oh my god speaking of rupture my spine my back not my spine my back is so messed up uh three visits boosh nice hit three visits right there we'll take it uh jewelry i feel we're gonna pull something good here i don't know why three visits actually should probably be in the cool pile extends our foil yeah i'm not, I'm not sure we'll see okay uh s i don't know I'll say something else cyani Oh, look at that beautiful training center. That came out gorgeous. Beaut it just rips through the card. I like how that looks. Foil extended art. Beautiful training center right there. Soul Ring. Wow, this is a nice pack, man. This is a nice pack. Soul Ring extended art. Pretty juice. Armored Sky Hunter. Taking a little dive down there. Very nice. Radiant Sarah Angel. What are we going to get in the end here? Rayon, last of the Abzan. There you go. Um, he's pretty legit. He's got a big mouth. Rawr! Okay, there you go. That's what you get. And Livio, Oath Sworn Sentinel. I love these etched foil cards. They did a really bang up job with them. There's no two ways about it. Um, I think we'll put you up here just for the heck of it. I don't think you belong up there, but we're going to put you up there, baby. Okay. Theros. Premium promo pack. All foils. I remember when I was cracking these, you get these at your local game store, um, but I was telling people, I'm like, man, Wizards, really, what they should do is uh, make all foil packs. Just give us what we want. Put in a bunch of rare and mythic, foil it all out. Within a year's time, two years' time, I think, then out came collector packs, and I thought that was the coolest freaking thing, man. Uh, Temple of Triumph, uh, foil promo. Um, of course, in my delusional world, I like to think I had something to do with that, but I'm sure they were just finding ways to make more money, and that was one of them, and they exploited it. There you go. Code card for your cool kids out there. Uh, Temple of Triumph. Outside of Life's Bounty. Nice hits, man. Nice hits. <laughs> Arasta of the Endless Web. Not what you want to see in that slot, for sure. But these were pretty decent. That's probably the most valuable out of all of them. And then comes Temple. Okay. And then comes the temple. There you go. Um, the outside of Life's Bounty, I'll put up there. Basically, this is like the $5 and up cool pile up here. Something like that. Theros Beyond Death. Um, so, yeah, I was playing around with my kids at a, a jump park, basically, or a, a trampoline park, you know. My dumb ass decides... Oh, goat Lives Matter. Oh, my God. Uh, my dumb ass decides, I know what I'll do. I'll just do a flip. 
I'll do a bunch of flips. And I did a bunch of flips. What are you doing over here? I did a whole bunch of flips and I landed my flips. Well, then my dumb ass decides I'm going to go over to the kitty area where they have the foam pits, you know? I go over there with Jax. We're all having a freaking hooting time. And guess what I do? That's right, Billy. I jump back first into the pile. It was absolutely terrible. Right into the pile. Uh, my back is on fire. Um, there was barely any padding there. Nice mountain. Elspin's devotee. There was barely any padding inside the foam pit. And it looked like it was full. Like it was like five feet deep of foam. Wrong. It was like two feet deep of foam. It was the worst experience I ever had. Um, my back uh, finally just really got me after I was blowing up fireworks yesterday and playing the sprinkler with jacks. That's when it hit. <laughs> That's when it hit and it really started to hurt, man. Nice shadow of the sky there. So I'm in, I'm in complete excruciating pain right now on my back. I went and got x-rays done. I was at the hospital last night, all that good stuff. No breaks, thank God. But man, there is like I, I probably tore a muscle or did something really bad in my back. And uh, I have never felt this much pain my, uh, since when I had my stomach pumped um, because when my small intestine got tangled or twisted. No one knows how that happened. And since my uh, uh, head injury where I was bleeding from the brain. This is up there with the pain level I'm experiencing. Um, it's bad. So, yeah, there you go. When you bleed on the brain, it's pretty painful, guys. I don't know if you're aware of that. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. wow. Dave, that is sick. Nice watery grave promo foil shock land. If you ever pull a land, that's one of the lands you want to freaking pull. Hot damn, man. Watery grave. Wow. Beautiful hit. Inspiring veteran. And a, and a crag feet promo. Wow. That uh, watery grave is probably 20, 25 bucks easy just on that alone. Really nice, man. Throne of El Drano. Here we go. Here we go. If you guys enjoyed this video, man, please leave a like. Um, this is this was not cheap for Dave to do. And I had the guts to put it all into one video. <laughs> so a like uh, on the video, even a share maybe. Some people are going to want to watch this, man. And I will be announcing winners for um, those three fetch lands uh, in the next couple days. So do keep that in mind. Uh, that, you got to go back a few videos for that one. But yeah. Foul Meyer Knight. Bada boom. Sir Farin the Hengehammer. Inspiring Veteran. Craver. Guide. Sure. Oko's Accomplices. Oko, you're not even in the game. Fervent Champ, Extended Art, that's a cool card. I was hoping for a lot better than this. Uh, Opportunistic Dragon, Foil. All right, that closes out that. Nothing really too noteworthy here, other than these cards making no sense. All right, Token Piles over here. Lands as well, put like that, okay. On to the next one, Iconic Masters. We only had a few dud packs so far. I have a feeling Iconic Masters is gonna be freaking juiced to the caboose, man. Juice the kaboom. Ah, not you again. Why have you haunt me, my friend? Why? Okay, that's where that thing just keeps haunting me. Oh, it keeps haunting me. Okay, judgment, whatever. We got some thirsty girl. Oof, not bad. When chicks are thirsty, mm, it's time to get dirty. All right, uh, Orzov Basilica. The Aqueduct Spectre. Yosai, Yosi, the Morning Star. There you go. Can we just call it Yoshi? The, the cuddly bear? Sure. And Kiln Fiend. Oh, my feeling was kind of wrong. That uh, Morning Star is not bad. Really, really neat card right there. Very, very cool. All right, all right. Let's keep it trucking, baby. Uh, foils, doesn't matter. There we go, over here. Dominaria. So, yeah, you only get these at prize packs, the standard showdown. Um, they changed the name to, like, promo packs now or something like that, um, which is really what they are, you know. But you participate in local game stores, and uh, Wizard ships these out to people. And they give them out to winners. There you go. Or you can find them on eBay. They're on eBay like crazy, man. Ramming up Excavator. That's hot. My Naga. Cleric showing up right there. You may play land cards from your graveyard. Juicy. Forest action. Nice, nice hits right there. Uh, Throne of the God Pharaohs. All right. Chef, chef, chef at Dunes. Foil. Nothing too fancy at the end there, guys. I know you were hoping for a little something better, but it didn't happen. Out of Devastation, that uh, that first pull, though, that ramming up Excavator. Dude, that Naga's nasty. All right, Blight Herder, there you go. I remember opening about 30 packs of this. It was nutty. I loved them. Blight Herder's pretty cool. A little Eldrazi action right there. 
And then we got Thalia's Lenses. This is such a dime a dozen for this card, I swear. Dime a dozen. Island Vented Bulls Foil. Get a load of that curve. Holy crap. Are you seeing this, fellas? Look at that curve. It's like, wow. <laughs> and a forest uh, extended art. Or full art. There you go. Whoa, baby. Not bad. Not bad. We could have done better there, of course. But that was these Ultimate Masters. These puppies run, was it like 20 bucks, 22 bucks, something like that, a pack? So, oh, there's a way to open these. That's right. You pull up the little tabby. A little tabby, baby. Let's get some of that gold. Elemental. Does not go there. Put tokens right over here. We'll put them off camera. Oh, Sublime Archangel. Okay, that's right. They do these like packs like this. I forgot. Sublime Archangel shows up. Very powerful card. Lava Spike. Cool to see that here as well. Another power card. Another power power card. All right. And Blood Flame with the Drake. That really shocked me. They just threw it like right up in the front there. That was neat. Okay. And there's the commons to close it out. Ultimate Masters kind of let us down there. Now we're on to Modern Masters 2017. These packs will set you back about $24. Um, they're, these are like all off the top of my head guesses, guys, but I know they're pretty close within like 5%, 10% of what I say here. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, man, let's have some juicy pulls in here. Juicy pulls. We got the old Instinct. That's right. Uh huh. Urbis, Wayfaring Temple, Azor. Oh, man. Oh, man. Summoning Trap. All right, decides to show up. Forgot this card was even in the set. That is a lot and a lot of text right there on one card. Holy crap. You want to read it all? There you go. That's a crap ton of text. All righty, and we're done. And a Shimmering Ghetto. Mm -hmm. So much for my Shimmering Ghetto ending. Okay, this is going to go over here, and you go over there. We got Modern Masters, original Modern Frickin' Masters. That's going to be fun. Please, we need a big hit. I feel we hit a dry spell here. We hit a dry spell ever since Watery Grave. It's just been kind of quartalunculous. There are some, like, three, four dollar commons in this set, as well as uh, uncommons. Like, there's, like, some two to ten dollar, uh, I think, uncommons in the set. Pretty amazing um, pulls you can get out of one of these for sure. Enlistment. That's a Kithkin, it would be. Okay. Mm, on to Uncommons. Mad Auntie. Look at that art, man. Look at that. That is beauty. <laughs> Murderous Red Cap. The Dragon. Paradick. Come on, be something good. Country shy, Countryside Crusher. Not sure the value on that guy, but not what we were hoping for. That's for darn sure. And Court Homunculus. And it's foil action. These older packs, man, very scary stuff. You never know what you're going to find or how burnt you're going to get. Eternal Masters, let's get a Mythic and call it a day. What do you guys say? Get a little Mythic, call it a day. These puppies are about like 20 to $25 a piece. Not cheap at all. Here we go. Here we go. Nausea, sure. The Lion. Blood Braid Elf. Beautiful card. That Cascade ability is dirty. Invigorate. Love this. Love this card. Very powerhouse. Very powerhouse. I've used it before. Ancestral Mask. Love the art on this. Look. Someone's choking her and she's liking it. Mm-hmm. Oh! Wasteland! That's some freaking juice right there. Get the Wasteland. Beautiful hit. That is one to talk about. Yeah! Alright, Dave. Nasty. Finally, some juice flowing. Okay. Phantom Monster. There you have it. Whoo, baby. Rise of the Eldrazi. If you made it this far in the video, take a moment, pause the video, go to the comment section and say, Joey, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. All right, Rise of Eldrazi. Let's pull it, baby. That was at the 19 minute, 10 second mark right there. I can't believe it's not butter. Emrakul's Hatcher. Rise of Eldrazi. These packs are like almost 30 bucks or something. They're up there. Reinforced Bulk. <laughs> Gotta reinforce your bulk sometimes. Might of the masses. That's right, big boy. Night A's. All right. Really cool art on this set. Very, very neat. Oh, wrapping flame, sure. Contaminated ground. 
Chant Lamb becomes tapped. Take two damage. Cool, cool. Ulamog's Crusher for the Eldrazi and a common, but Annihilator 2. That's nuts. And attacks each turn if able. Whenever this creature attacks, the fighting player sacrifices two permanents. That's sick. <laughs> that is just sick. Then we got Artisan of Kozilek. Another sweet uh, Eldrazi. Okay, the Guardians, sure. Gravity Well. All right. And Keening Stone. Looks cool. Not too familiar with this card. Target player puts the top X card in his or library into his or her graveyard where X is the number of cards in that player's graveyard. Whoa. Yeah. If you want to really finish out a match, there you go. Planes. I think we have a foil, maybe? We'll see. Yep. There's something back here hiding. We got ourselves this. What else? What else, baby? Keep the tokens and lands together. Come on. Lost for war. That's cool. It's it's just it's just neat to see some old foil action. That's all it is. Really, really cool. All right, that was uncommon slot. World Wake. These are like fifty dollars a pack. Fifty dollar pack right here, guys. Is it is it World Wake? World Wake might be thirty. Twenty five thirty. I, I was confusing it. Future site. Future site's fifty bucks. World Wake. I think it's like twenty five thirty something like that. Maybe more. Ayana's Judgment. This has Jace. We could pull a Jace in here. Pretty nuts. Can you smell it? Oh, there ain't nothing like the old. It smells like going into like an antique bookshop when you open some of these packs. Like the smell is just, it's defining. Let me tell you. Spark Mage. Cunning Spark Mage. Permafrost Trapper. Sure. And we got the old Permator Rare Captain. Avenger of Zendikar. We'll take it. Big boy. That's a mythic. There you go. 2010. They, they were doing mythics back then, huh? Whenever Avenger of Zendikar enters the battlefield, put a 0-1 green plant creature token on the battlefield for each land you control. Landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a plus plus encounter on each plant creature you control. As a big nasty boy there. For sure. That goes in the cool hit pile. Elephant and Island. The islands from this set alone, I think, might fetch a penny. Uh, I'm tempted to put it up here. We are going to put it in the rare pile. There you go. Okay. It goes in the rare pile. Zendikar. We are getting some extreme value now. We are hitting uh, the, the, the 20 and plus range only now for each pack. Then into the 30s and then into the 50s. It's nuts. Burst lightning. Man. Oh, get a good sniff, boys. Get a good sniff. And girls. Crypt Ripper. All right, Caller of Gales. I'm not going to every single comment in the world, so if you guys see something that, you know, is over a buck or something, point it out in the video for sure. We got Arrow Volley Trap. Uh, Landbind Ritual. Hedron Crab. That's a that's a good one. Remember a lot of, a lot of people playing that card. Oh, shut the fuck up! Misty Rainforest O F N G. What is up? Oh, my freaking $100 plus bill. That is sick. That is freaking sick. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow. Hold up, baby. Hold the front freaking door. Um, you need a little sleeve of my friend. Oh, my God. Oh, this is not, that sleeve won't do it justice. Are these the bad sleeves? Oh, we got sleeves. Hold on, fellas. Oh, shit. Oh, nice and perfect slide. Dave, that's a... Uh, well, a tiny bit up here on the right. Just on a tiny bit on the bottom right. That's probably a solid nine, though, Dave. I mean, they could... If... Uh, it could be a BGS 9.5. It's tough, though, with uh, the corner right there. There's like a tiny bit. If you see that, um, other than that, I mean, really, this is just sick. It's flawless on the front. Probably, you might have a 9.5 here or a 9. That's really good. Nice, misty, freaking OG rainforest. That is the very first time I pulled an OG, um, uh, well, I can't think of it, shock, shock not Shockland, uh, Fetchland. Very first time we pulled uh, an original uh fetch land on this channel from one of these packs that is what dream dude that's expensive wow 
Uh, Eventide. We're up to Eventide. Oh, man. The, the show must go on. We are just... That, that was a firework. Holy crap, Dave. Nice hit, man. Edge of the Divinity. Edge of Divinity. Whatever. You smell good? Mmm, like heaven's bosoms. All right, wow. Uh, Troll. Puncture Blast up in you. This is so cool. Look at the old school stuff. Dream Thief. Oh, the old Knack Knack. That's right. Look at this guy. That is some freaking sweet art, though, man. That is some sweet art. We got Zelot. Monstrify. Okay. We're on to Uncommons. Let's go. Oh, a Spirit Token just pops out of nowhere. Okay. Oh, I love the art on these, man. Like, that is one wicked-looking dude. Oh, man. Don't want to get in a fight with that hag. Cool. Oh, sweetness. What's going on there? He's like, bleh. He's got a long nose, too. Is that the same guy? That's the same guy, right? Kind of looks like him. Weirdos. Oh, that's the same guy in the back there. That's cool. Um, Cave Guard. Sure. What else? Needle Specter. It's got Wither. Whenever Needle Specter deals combat damage to a player, the player discards that many cards. 1-1. One, one. Wither this uh, this da deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters. Really, really cool. That is our rare. Wow. Okay. Uh, a lot of excitement from that one pack. Without a freaking doubt. Um, that Misty was nuts. Shadowmore. Not cheap, guys. We're talking $30, I think, and up. I think for Shadowmore. Maybe 20. Uh, this might be maybe 20 and up. I can't remember which one this is. I know the other ones are up, are up there. Puncture Bolt. Let's do this. Not a lot of cards were printed from these sets. Um, there was a recession in Magic during the time. Everyone got hip to first uh, shooters, first person shooters. And so that's what happened there. Una's Gate Guard. I like this little chick. Look at that smirk on her face. You know, I just want to smack her. No, I'm just going to smack the smirk off her face. Smirk smacking. Ah, good. Mana Forge Cinder. We don't strike women, gentlemen. Okay, unless their name is Una. Okay, Scuzzbag Scrapper. No, never. Never is it okay to do that. Elvish Hex Hunter. Look at this guy. Getting evil. That is cool. That is cool. Golden Moth. Tatter Tub. Tatter. Tatter Tug. Tatter Munge Maniac attacks each turn if able. Dream Salvage. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Raking Canopy. Valley Maker. Never even seen this card in my life, but we got it right here on Bad Boy Gaming. Bad Boy MTG. There you go. Sacrifice a mountain. Valley Maker deals three damage to target creature. Oh, it's, I mean, if you really got to kill him, I guess. Yeah. All right. Deef. 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 We are down to Morning Tide. Oh, boy. These are like up there in price. I'm telling you, man. Like 35 bucks a pop, uh, I think, around there. They're not cheap. All right. Love, love the emblem on this. This reminds me of like fire. Flaming, you know? All right, Chingling. Oh, such cool. I almost want to zoom in for the artwork alone. Fer Fertilid. That card's been around that long, huh? I had no idea. There you go. This came out in uh, a set recently. Roar of the Crowd. Okay. Some Luminescent Rain. Ink Dissolver. Frog Tosser. Look at this dude. Are you really tossing a frog? Is he tossing a frog there? I don't see it if he is. Paragon. That looks cool. Bramblewood Paragon. Wow. Oh, every warrior. That's a good card. Okay. Swell of Scourge. Swell of Courage. Swall of Courage. <laughs> Redeem the Lost. Looking like a Kithkin. <coughs> there you go. Nice instant. And Fen Deep Summoner for our rare. Up to two target swamps, each become three five tree folk warrior creature tokens in addition to their other types of under turn. That's that's not bad. Three five though. Okay. And an elf warrior token. Very, very nice. Oh boy. We're on to Lorwin. This is Lauren. Welcome, my friend. Yeah, this is up there in price. Probably thirty dollars and up for these. Easily. Easy. Probably thirty thirty three bucks, if I had to guess. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Smoke Braider, very cool card. I ran this many times. I'm sure a lot of us have run this card if we played back in the day. We got the Leaf Seer, Birthright, Hoodlums, Currents. Okay. The Kithkins are the ugliest tribe on the planet. There, there's no denying this, guys. 
I mean, and they're on planes. They're not on planets. It's okay. Oh, Elvis Promenade. Howdy freaking do, baby. That's a solid hit. That goes in the cool pile, believe it or not. That is a juicy one. There you go. Changling uh, Hero. Wow, good pulls out of this. Without a freaking doubt. Oh, Howl Tooth Hollow. It's got the hideaway. Not sure what's going on with that. Hideaway is a crazy ability there. This land comes into play tapped when it does. Look at the top four cards of your library. Remove one of them from the game face down and put the rest in the bottom of your library. You may play the removed card without paying its mana cost for each player. has no cards in hand. Okay, that's that's out there, man. That is legit. I don't know what to make of that card. <laughs> Future Sight. Now we're hitting the heavy, heavy boys. This is a $50 plus pack. 50 plus bucks. Oh my God. Get a load of that, dude. That just sums up the whole pack. Oblivion Crown. Oh man, Fatal Attraction. There are some psychos out there. There are some psychos out there. Lucent Limnid. Limnid. There you go. Aether Mage. Those are our two Future Sight cards. Oh, another one. Virulent Sliver in the Future Sight. All Sliver creatures have Poisonous 1. Yikes. That's, uh, that's not Infect, though, is it? It's a poison counter. Oh, yeah, that is, that, that's the that's same thing, in fact. Called it poisonous. Wow, Frenzy Sliver. That's cool. Pulling some. I love the look of these cards. It's so different. Ghost Fire. Wow, we had a lot of Future Sight cards here. Is that how every pack's supposed to be, maybe? I don't know. New Benalia. All right. And Dryad Arbor. That is a nice hit, man. Cool card. Um, it's green. And it's also a, a, a forest. Isn't that insane? That is so cool. Bo bonded Fetch. Wow, we got... That was a cool pool right there. I, I almost want to put that in a cool pile. It got reprinted, though. But maybe the OG version of it might be worth something. I'm going to put that in a cool pile for now. Uh, the Fetch. And Magus of the Abyss. It's the beginning of each player's upkeep. Destroy target and every creature that player controls. Of his or her choice, it can't be regenerated. There you have it, my friends. There you have it. I think we can put that in the cool pile. I'm not sure. I don't know if it belongs there, but we're going to do it. Oh, $50 pack. Time Spiral's up there as well. Oh, boy. This is really neat. I can't. Misty freaking Rainforest. Misty Rainforest loves me, by the way. We're having a relationship. That's right. Empty the Warrens. Cool card. Very cool. Oh, man. I gotta smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's so good. You have no idea, guys. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. Happy 4th uh, of July, by the way, everyone. And a huge thanks to all the soldiers out there who uh, protect and serve the country. It is, uh, it's truly greatly appreciated. So thank you very much. Whatever freedom we do have at this point. Eternity Snare. Bada bing. Sliver. Bada boosh. Acid Moss. That's why I like to see some Acid Moss. Nice, nice. Pendlehaven Elder. Okay. Quilled Sliver. Oh, boy. We're getting nuts. Come on, what's going to be the juicy one? Mock Horror. Felonite Hermit. All saplings get plus one, plus one. It's got Morph on it and some other stuff. Okay. That was our time spiral pack. Oh, and a Dragon Storm. Throwback. Search your library for a dragon card and put it into play. Then shuffle your library. It's got Storm on it. That might be a really cool card as well. That is nice. I'm not sure if it goes in the cool guy pile, but yeah. If it should, you guys let me know. We're going to put that in the rare pile as well, just for now. Okay. Cold Snap. Oh, boy. You're looking at like 20, uh, 22 bucks a pack, I think, for Cold Snap. 23 This was like the follow-up to Ice Age, basically. I know they, split, they, they, they drew it out way later, but yeah. Oh, the old packs, man. Sorry, it's an addiction I have. Ronum Hulk shows up in the very front of the pack. Protection from snow. Okay. Here we go. There's Abren Yeti, Frozen Salad. Oh, man. Pull some juice out of here. Show to the bone. Oh, this sounds cool. Surging Dementia. Whoa. That dude's scary. There's no two ways about that. Thermal Flux. Unicorn. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Now we're into Uncommon Territory. Sheltering Ancient. Got cumulative upkeep on it. Pretty sick. Phyrexian Iron Foot. Y'all. Owl Keeper. Dude's keeping owls. Lightning Serpent. 
Trample and Haste, Lightning Serpent comes into play with X plus one plus zero counters on it. At the end of turn, Sacrifice Lightning Serpent. I mean, that's kind of cool. Just get like a big, like, it's like a ball lightning kind of effect almost. Uh, really neat. Lightning Serpent. Ah, Ravnica. Oh, this might be 50 plus, I think. I think Ravnica is 50, 55 bucks, something like that, pack. Um, oh, can we open this? Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Now, remember, with these old packs, you're, not gonna get, you're probably not going to get your money back, you know, uh, at all. But, oh, my goodness, is it an experience. And I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful we can all share this experience. I mean, the experience alone. Experience, experience, experience. Experience point counters. Dragon Warrior, got experience there. All right? Experience. All right, Final Fantasy. Get, a, get experience there as well. These are nutty cards, guys. These are really nutty cards. Um, Mnemonic Nexus. Sweet art. Dark Blast. Dark Blast. Chant of Vitu Gazi. And there's stuff all over this. I'm not going to... Yeah, there's stuff all over it. Uh, weird that it's there. Interesting. Chant of Vitu Gazi. What is going on there? I don't know what that is. Flame Fusillade. Fuselage. I don't know. Whatever. We tried. <laughs> oh, quick change. Foil. Quick change of clothes. Oh, that's a hot outfit, though. Holy crap. I'd like to see that in my bedroom. All right. That is really hot to try. Um, whoa. I dang it. All right. Calm down, Joey. Fifth Dawn. Beautiful. Let's do a Fifth Dawn pack. Fifth Dawn. I think you get a booster box of this for about 800 bucks. I think. Starting off with a Threnax. Threnax. Whatever. X. Leonin Square. Wayfarer's Bobble. Nice hit there. The OG. Wayfarer's Bobble. That could go in the cool pile. Serum Visions. Wow. That could probably go in the cool pile. We pulled two really good common cards. That is nice. Two really good commons. Um, we'll put you in the cool pile too. Just, I mean, you're kind of cool. Gollum. Crocodile. Very nice. Very. Conjurer's Bobble. I'm always conjuring up something here. Channel the Suns. Look at how you have to add that, man. Now look at the color. That's neat. That's pretty neat. One of every color, baby. Energy Chamber. Mm-hmm. Salvador Seraphor. Salvagers. Beacon of Creation. Put a one-on-one -on -one green insect creature token on the battle for each four you control. Okay. Maybe, I mean, maybe with Insect Tribal. This card might be okay now. Beacon of Creation. Not really sure. Insect Tribal. Uh, Dark Steel. Whew. Baby, I love your way. Opening Dark Steel. Let's do this. Volshock, Morning Star. Very neat. Oh, man, I got a smell. Smell test up, oh, checks out. All right, scavenging scarab. Fatigue, eye, and flame. Whisper silk cloak. Genesis chamber. Okay. Observer. Genesis chamber is a cool card. Talent of pain. Look at all the text on these. Jeez, man. Gemini Engine. I'm a Gemini. Little did you know. What sign are you? I'm a Gemini. I'm actually born Cusp of Magic, June 20th. Cusp of Magic. I'm a Cuspian. I know. It's amazing. It's magic, baby. Mirrodin. We are on to Mirrodin. Very, very cool. I never really take the time to look at the back of these packs, but it gives you a bunch of information. It tells you stuff. Tells you some things. Mirrodin's up there in value. Probably 30 bucks a pack, roughly. Maybe more. I don't think the set symbol fits this, this set at all. I don't know. It's just me. Holy freaking bended. Look at the benditure on that. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we got. Thought cast. That's a nice card. Got the golem. Longbow. Omega Mirror, two drop for a one two. That is terrible. Turn to dust. Battle horns. Got the creep mold, dude. Okay. Goblin. I like that. Look at these little gobos. Look at them, man. They're about to go wage war. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, Isochron Scepter. That's a hot to trot one right there. Nice freaking pull, my dude. That is good. Isochron, Isochron, Isochron. Nice freaking hit. And Damping Matrix, activated abilities of artifacts and creatures. Um, 
Uh, can't be played unless their mana ability is really neat. And it got a foil, a huge bend. That bent all the cards in the pack. Wow. Get a load. Played unless their mana ability. Okay. Get a load of that freaking bend. That is out of this world bent, man. Ugh, holy shnikes. You have to step on that puppy. Yeah, let's put you at the bottom over here or something. Ugh, get that bend out of there. Okay. On to Onslaught. On to Onslaught. Goblin Sledders. They're just sledding around. Another expensive, expensive pack right here. Two, three. See, that's better. Two drop, two, three. Elf. Okay. Festering Goblin. Love the art on this card. One of my favorites for goblins. There it is. It's not even red. He's, he's black, dude. He is in the blackness. And then we got Path Cutter. Mind. Grace. Lonely Sandbar. Do you smell? Okay. It's not, if, if it smells, pass them the test, you know? These are these are packs we're getting to territory where people will repack shit. I got the territory we're in, guys, because there's sick hits in these. Snarling Unborak. Okay. Everglove Courier. Beautiful, man. Starlet Sanctum Land. What are you about? Sacrifice a cleric, you gain life equal to a cleric's toughness. Oh, okay. Sacrifice a cleric, target player, loses life equal to that cleric's power. Oh, that could be really good if you could pump up a cleric. Wow, that'd be really cool, actually. Lightning Rift. That's I don't know, that, that cleric card, if cleric tribal really takes off ever, that Scarlet Sanctum is legit. Lightning Rift, sweet card. Stag Beetle, probably not what you want to see. X is the number of other versions. Yeah, that's, that's really not that good. Oh, wow, Demystify, Old Foil. That looks so romantical, seriously. That is endurable. I, I made that word up. I should trademark it. Endurable. I know. It's beautiful. Demystify. Foil. Destroy target enchantment. That is good. I think that goes in the cool pile. <laughs> that just looks really... That looks important. Odyssey. Oh, man. Oh, my back's about to freaking give out. I swear. I swear my back's about to give out. Ugh. Right now I'm on... Uh, like a benzo or something like that. Um, the doctor or the yeah the doctor gave me prescribed me and I'm on some pain meds uh, and muscle relaxers. Um, I'm on a lot of stuff right now, but I need to be because um, the pain is just, it's unbearable. It really is. Uh, demoralize. <laughs> I love the name of that card. I really do. Just for the name, it gets a little bell ringer. Psionic gift. I like that. I like that. Reckless charge. What are these graves about? I forget. I swear, I always forget like, what these graves are about. They they mean something. I don't think they do anything, but they mean something. I just can't recall. Ava Windreader, Mind Wind Boy, Mystic Visionary. Uh huh. Anarchist. Love that name. Aether Burst. Okay. Spiritualize. Really sweet art on that guy. Very, very cool. It's like Medusa. Beast Attack. That's neat. Diabolic Tutor? OG? I didn't know they printed Diabolic Tutor back then. Search the label for a card, put the card in your hand. Yeah, I had no idea Diabolic Tutor was a reprint. Wow. Even I learn something new every day, man. I wonder if that's worth anything. I'll put it in the cool pile. It's probably like a few bucks, but still. And we have the Ashen Fire Blast. Just one damage each creature without flying. That cannot be worth a damn. Okay. There we go. Oh, boy. We are into some nasty, nasty sauce, guys. So nasty. We're slipping on some gloves for this, pal. We are going to slip on the old gloves. That's right. Hello and welcome to Open Coasters. <laughs> Let's do this. Where did I get these gloves, you ask? Well, last night when I was in the ER. I just stole them. That's what I did. Don't steal. Bad things will happen to you. You know how much that hospital bill is going to cost me? I'm sure they can spare some latex gloves for this beautiful, magnificent opening. Are you guys ready? We just got freaking down and dirty. Shout out to Open Coasters. Open Boosters. All right, here we go. Urza's, uh, Urza's Destiny. $112 a pack. Price has gone up since I last did this. Redunculous. Let's see what all jolliness we get out of here. Okay. Gotta be careful when you open these. 
might find a freaking beautiful disaster. Okay, I'm gonna flip it upside down. One, two, three, four is our rare right there. And the back you go, my friend. Okay, ravenous rats, beautiful. Reliquary monk, not a whole lot of value up front. I know exactly what it is um, that's worth value uh, from these. I just had to price out a bunch of Urza's Destiny. When this video is over, I encourage you guys, go watch my video. Um, there, it's a four part series, this insane estate sale collection purchase I got. We got a lot of vintage stuff in there. Some massive freaking hits. I think like four or five huge pools came out of that uh, out of that opening. It was insanity. Um, I'll leave a link at the end of this, but there's a it's a four part series. Really cool. Squirming Mass. That's a hot looking card right there. Seagull of Sleep. Seagull. Sigil. Caltrops. Uh huh. Go on. Oh man. Aether String. Aether Sting. Sure. Come on, what's after that? Private Research. I think that's one of the better cards, if I'm not mistaken. That goes in the cool pile. Oh my gosh, please be something nasty. Academy Chancellor, uh, Wizard Legend. I'm not sure the value on her. I really don't even remember her. I, I don't remember her. Um, whenever are you, I can tell you if it's good or not. Whenever you or a permanent you control is the target of a spell or ability controlled by one of your opponents, you may draw a card. And if Rain Academy Chancellor is enchanted, you may draw another card. Okay. It seems good. I don't think it's a I don't think it's on the reserve list, but we'll put it over here in the cool pile. Oh boy. We are on to a three hundred almost three hundred dollar pack now. These are nuts, like two hundred and thirty. For Urza's saga. Very, very cool. Urza's frickin' Saga. It comes with the address on it. You guys ready? I'm just taking a look. Taking a look. Making sure it's legit. Gonna find out whose face I gotta hit if it's not an authentic real pack. We got Planner Void. No, we're not gonna go through it that way, silly gooses. Oh man, let this card be something sick as hell. If we pull another guy as Gradle, I'm gonna crap my pants. Don't do what these guys do. Whatever you do. Guy is bounty, opal gargoyle. Smell it. Oh, it smells so freaking good. Krispy Kreme donuts. Didn't someone say they sent me Krispy Kreme donut um, gift cards? Someone, I think someone did that. Did you really though? Or are you just, you're just jerking my chain? Cause I don't think I got them yet. I've been waiting for them. Got to rest. Rewind. A little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff on that. A little rewind. Winding worm. Oh my gosh. Lol. Okay. Opal Harriotid, please. Heat Ray, pull something really good. Come on, get, just give us a land in that slot. Planar Void, sweet cards, sweet art, please. Oh boy. Sanctum Guardian, this dude has tiny muscles, right? Subway. So Vile Requiem, oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna slow roll, guys. You wanna slow roll? A little slow, a little slow. Is that a land? Oh my god. Oh, Thron Quarry. Oh man. That guy, uh, it's a land. It's all right. It's maybe like a $10 land, though. I think it's around there. Oh man. I was so hyped. I'm like, it's a land. I knew it was a land. Oh man. Not the land we wanted to pull, though. The weakest links of all the lands in the set. But this one did start going up in price recently. It might even be $20 at this point. So that is something. Okay, and now we're on to heavy hitter four hundred dollar pack boy. This is uh, a very well kept. I heard this came from we had we had some problems with the last one. Okay, not problems, but we had some discrepancies and we addressed them. I should say Dave addressed them with the uh, with the seller, and that was um, uh, there was like seven basic lands in 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 the pack. Pretty unheard of. I don't recall there ever being that many basics in one pack. Usually it's like four or something, you know, or three is kind of normal. Uh, but seven was kind of high. So we, we were in touch with the seller. He assured us there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with this. Okay. Let's see how it opens. I mean, if you do it really carefully, you could easily 
do a reseal job on this. I mean, it looks legit. It looks, it does look legit. Let's see how this breaks open here. It is pretty tough on the glue. Okay, I mean, I think it's legit. I mean, they said it came from a sealed booster box. That's an uncommon right there. Is Library of Lang. We're going to flip. Two. Oh, man, these are so old. Whoa, see right there. What is that? That looks like paint on there. That looks like paint on there. This would be our land right there. Or that, that would be our, our fourth. Okay, let's see what we got, guys. All right, I don't know what that mark was. Starting off on a swampy. Nice curvature on this. Does it smell good? It's almost like lacking some scent, which could be a sign that it was opened. I mean, I don't, I don't know. All right, we got a swamp. I don't like this. We got two plantains. I got if open boosters. If you watch this video, man, say like, let me know. You open all this kind of stuff all the time. You you know, what do you think? Is this legit? Is it not? Got Terror. Okay. Holy Armor. Holy Diver. Melissa Ben Sands got some Holy Armor. Paralyze. Well, I'm not paralyzed. Something. I seem to be struck by you. Uh, Finger 11, something like that. Creature Bond. Okay. Mountain. This seems more legit of a pack, but whatever. I don't know. Mountain. Plains. Okay, that's four. Dark Ritual uh, in flawless minty condition. Okay. I'll put that in the cool pile. It, it might be worth much, but whatever. Giant Growth. Grizzly Bears. Library of Lang. Uncommon. Here we go, man. Ornithopter. Ornithopter, I think, is a good uh, a good hit out of this set. I believe it or not. A 0-2 Ornithopter, I think it is. Life Tap. Cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. Be a land. Be a land. Be a land. Be a land. Oh, my God. Be a land. It's not a land. Fungusaur. It's a Fungusaur. It is a Fungusaur. That's a Fungusaur. Ah, shit, it's a fungusaur. Ah, shit. Yeah, freaking fungus. All right, that's all, that's all she wrote. Wow, what a freaking opening. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you made it this far, definitely leave a like in the comment and tell me that you are living on Grove of the Burn Willows property and you're suffering from the past because of a nightshade pact you decided to make with some grizzly bears along the way while reading a book at the Library of Lang and casting dark rituals. It all made sense until a diabolic tutor came and put a dampening scepter right up your rectum. Things got really odd there. You thought you were being probed and the magus of the abyss came through and gave you a kiss and off you were to wasteland territory. No more training for you, you little stupid soul ring, but you're going to get three visits from a song of creation. Hopefully a little walker. Just kidding. It's a waker from Liliana. We all confuse that one, don't we? Can Azusa, your lost but seeking Alrin's epiphany. And by the end of it... You'll find yourself in a beautiful, misty rainforest where an Avenger of Zendikar will promise you an elvish promenade comes along and turns your dried land into a Yosai the Morning Star upon your watery grave. Skadoosh. Happy times.